Okay. Um, in this video, I want to show the one fight that um, led to me being, I don't like to use the term fan uh, for another man, but uh, led to me being a supporter of Canelo Alvarez. Now, I want to say something before I show that particular um, uh, 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 clip. Um, I think it was three rounds. But I want to show, uh, before I show that particular uh, fight and make a few more, uh, few more points before finishing the video, I want to say this. When I say a support of a fighter, what I mean is I don't care how many fights the fighter loses. Okay? I don't care if Canelo Alvarez loses 10 more fights. I don't care if he gets knocked out tonight. He is somebody I support, and I support his style, but not only that, I support his courage. And one reason is because the man is five foot eight. He's been listed at five nine. But I will tell you, I will always unabashedly, unabashedly and unapologetically always support people who are usually at a size disadvantage. Most people do not know what it's like to fight box, karate, MMA at a size disadvantage. It takes a whole different mindset. And it takes a whole lot of different skills, and it takes more skill to beat people when you are at a physical disadvantage. Period. It is a, that that is a fact. There are very few facts, but that is a fact. It takes a different mindset, and it takes uh, uh, a higher skill set to defeat people. You may see people as being brawlers. You may say, "Well, the guys only brawling." But there is a skill set to that also if you are a size, at a size disadvantage. So the fight I'm going to show you is the one fight that I saw that led to me being a supporter of Canelo Alvarez. And again, I don't care what happens. The same thing goes for people like Conor McGregor. I have said before that Conor McGregor is one of the all-time greatest pure strikers. Can't wrestle his way out of a paper bag. Can't grapple his way out of a paper bag. He's likely another one who has a brown belt or black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? But the fact of the matter is, is when it comes down to pure striking, no matter what happens in the rest of Conor McGregor's career, and no ma matter what happened before, uh, before his, his next fight, whatever losses he has suffered has not diminished um, um, my opinion, the opinion that I have of him, because he is one of the greatest pure strikers in the history of MMA, period. And I just want to make that point because there are people who will say, well, you know, Canelo Alvarez lost. No real fighter cares, really cares, really cares about how many fights another fight fighter loses. Okay? You ask Roy Jones or Mike Tyson if they really care how many times Manny Pacquiao lost a fight. People don't care how many fights Manny Pacquiao lost because of what Manny Pacquiao brought to the table. Real fighters don't care. Just like real fighters don't care how many fights Canelo Alvarez loses because of what he brought to the table in his prime and what he brought to the table even when he lost. Before I show the video, I want to say to a gentleman who said, I miss the old safe. I want to say this to that person. I have not given up the martial arts. Anyone who misses some of the videos I've posted, technique videos, I have not given up the martial arts. I am doing certain things on this channel that you were going to love. I will have an announcement short, uh, shortly on something that I will be doing um, at, on a weekly basis. Okay? And I guarantee all of my subscribers that they will like uh, what I have in mind for this particular channel, not the new channel, this channel, martial arts channel, but I have not left the martial arts. Now, this particular video is three rounds, and this is a video of Canelo Alvarez in what I believe is his masterpiece. Now, what you will be seeing is you will be seeing him fighting someone who was determined to beat him, um, and you will see somebody pushing Canelo back and pushing him, and I say push back, I don't mean pushing him back physically, but resisting um, or, or, or refusing um, to allow Canelo to impose his will on him, okay? Now, this particular fight is the one fight that when I looked at it, I said no matter what happens in the future, this 
man, Canelo Alvarez is a special fighter. And again, I want to say it doesn't make a difference how many fights he loses. Anyone who watches this next performance, if they really are a fight fan, they don't have to be a fighter, but if they are a fight fan, then they know what they're watching. Okay? So, here we go. What I think, you know, what, what I think is Cano Alvarez's uh, masterpiece. All right? So, here we go. Alvarez against James Kirkland. And you see the age advantage of seven years for Canelo Alvarez. But because he turned pro at 15, he's already fought nearly three times as many rounds in his career as has Kirkland, who has had three lengthy layoffs mid-career, two of them because of imprisonment, one because of lengthy indecision about which fight he wanted to take. Arm length advantage of a half inch for the southpaw, Kirkland. They both weighed in at 154 and a half. The agreed upon weight was 154, give or take a pound, so they were right there in weighing in at 154 and a half. While much has been made of James Kirkland fighting tonight without longtime trainer Ann Wolf, that doesn't diminish their significant history together. In a life filled with turmoil enough for a Dickens novel, Kirkland and Wolf have been together through the best and worst of times. I'm just ready to fight Canelo. Okay, those trunks are good there. Those trunks are good there. James, give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Canelo, yo quiero una pelea en limpia. Obedezcan mis órdenes y protejanse a todo tiempo. Todo cuanto está en respuesta. Well, if you love action and the big fight last week put you to sleep, wake up, because more likely than not, one of these two is about to go to sleep. Who am I looking for? This fight might knock you out. Canelo Alvarez has been trained his entire career by the father-son team in his corner, Chepo Reynoso and his son Jose. Round one begins. Right hand over the top by Canelo Alvarez. Why would you regard him more as an attacker or a counterpuncher? Well, he's a counterpuncher, and tonight he'll have to be a counterpuncher because he's fighting a guy who's going to be all over him. But he can fight either way, Jim. He can attack or he can counter. Canelo on the defensive right now as Kirkland fires away, and Canelo keeps his guard up in the corner. Canelo already ate a good right hand from Kirkland. It's one of the reasons he's in the corner right now. Hard right hand by Canelo. Kirkland firing away. Lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. But let's remember, Kirkland is vulnerable, especially early. We saw it against Angulo. He sometimes goes Frank, too offensive hey, early, hey, and against hey, Angulo hey, was hey, dropped hey, with hey, the right hey, hand. And when he gets knocked down, sometimes it's because Kirkland squares his feet up and forgets to stay in a responsible boxing stance. He just got hurt bad with left hook. hook. Just got hurt real bad with left hook. Canelo with that good left hook. Oh, he got Other hurt bad hook. again with it. Canelo almost landed the third big left hook, but he's landed two good ones in a row. And a straight right hand behind it. They're willing to take that left hook instead of gambling on Canelo's right uppercut. Kirkland open to the right hand. He's done. Right hand leads down the middle by Alvarez. Kirkland hurt again. Hurt very bad, Joe. Both fighters have been hurt in round one. Hard right hand by Canelo. I've never Alvarez seen, has a chance for something big. I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope dope that tells you how hurt he must be. Well, Canelo taking his time and landing the big shot. Hard right hand. hand. Down goes Kirkland. A minute still to go in the first round. Possible opportunity for a first round knockout by Canelo. Hey, stay there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Now no Kirkland. stranger to getting knocked down in round one. Kirkland has tasted the canvas here. He should have stayed close to Canelo. He was much safer when he was close. He can't outbox him, and he can't box with him. Close range was his best option because now Canelo is throwing wicked body shots, wicked uppercuts, and Canelo has gotten comfortable. And Canelo can't miss with the straight right hand. Not he from is that painting Kirkland with those shots. Not from that distance, Jim. Now he's doing the same thing that Pacquiao did last week. He's staying right in the wrong distance to win the fight. Hard left hook by Alvarez. Guys, the reason we know Kirkland's name is precisely because he walks through stuff like this. But again, that's only been with Ann Wolf. The only other time he didn't have her, he was knocked out in the first round. And he's in jeopardy here Big in the left first hook. round. Another right hand. Bad Kirkland body shot. together brilliantly ever since the early assault from Kirkland that locked him in the corner. Huge right hand. Left hook to the body. Then 
Canelo working, working. John Shirley looking. And Brooklyn's going to make it out of the round just barely. That was an assault. <laughs>
Yeah, this is a fight. Yeah, this is a fight. This is not much skill, but a fight. Little skill, but less than what we see from the best. But if there's a skill advantage, it belongs to Canelo Alvarez, and that means the premium for Kirkland is on heart and will and guts, and he has them all in abundance. So far, it's skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Perfect shots by Canelo Alvarez. Kirkland keeps coming. Can't keep giving Canelo them big shots, though, Jim. Oh. What are those body shots? Those body shots will wear anybody down. What a savage beat. This is Kirkland target is practice for Canelo Alvarez. Yes, it is. And Kirkland's taking every shot and coming back. And telling him to cut there he is. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down. Second knockdown of the fight. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, baby. Eight. Stay there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Show me something. Kirkland at great pain, so let John Shirley know he's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. That right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Shirley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. That particular fight, that particular fight, if you don't appreciate what you saw, in that fight, then you don't appreciate fighting. Now I'm going to say this again, because I am constantly amazed by the ignorance, the stupidity, um, the total refusal to accept what I say. Um, this kind of mind-numbing uh, refusal to listen to what I'm saying. Um, and what I mean by that is there is a reluctance on the part of people to, to listen to what I'm saying and admit that what I'm saying has merit. Um, I have said things in videos and a person will come right back and tell me that I didn't say something that I said or tell me I've said something that I didn't say or repeat what I said verbatim as though it's a, you know, as though, though they caught me in some kind of lie. So I want to finish this video by saying, I don't care who Canelo has lost to. I don't care who he will lose to. I don't care if he gets knocked out in his next 10 fights. The fight you just saw, the fight you just saw is something that fighters love. And it's the number one reason why I will always be a supporter of Canelo Alvarez and will never allow someone who sits on their ass admiring other fighters criticize Canelo Alvarez. I'll see you in the next video.